Hi Virgo, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for Thursday, July the 18th. Any information you need, you can find it within the description box down below, Virgo. I do have a deal going on right now for personals. It's a three question video read. It's 2525. Uh, you get it within two business days, all right? But that does close on Friday, July the 19th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're interested, Virgo, get your hands on that. We're going to go ahead and start here, see what we've got for you, okay? What do we have for Virgo here for Thursday? <clears throat> July 18th. We have the three of pentacles showing up here. Mars in Capricorn energy. Some of you, Virgo, during the pre-shuffle, I did get the Knight of Swords energy as the first card out, which I found ironic because... Um, well, not really ironic, but I found it weird. Some of you could have some Aries in your chart be dealing with an Aries because Aries also had that energy. I feel like there's something to do with a decision. You could be butting heads with someone here when it comes to a decision um, at work. I feel like something could be getting tense or when it comes to like building something, deciding on something big, something permanent. Like you're just not quite on the same page with someone here, but I feel like you're getting there. What else is going on with this energy? Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is showing up right here. I feel like you're able to, it's like process of elimination type energy here with the Ten of Swords. I feel like you're able to like get certain ideas out of the way. You're like, we're not doing that. I don't want that. I don't, you know, I feel like you're able to identify what you don't want, but it's a matter of like, what do you want? You know, what else do we have here for Virgo in regards to this? Some of you could be ending something here with an air sign or fellow earth sign. You do have the Four of Cups showing up right here. Moon in Moon in Can okay, so somebody could have their moon in Cancer here, but when it comes to this energy, I feel like a lot of you could be going to the root of something. You're digging deeper. There could be someone who's helping you with this, um, but you're digging deeper here, trying to figure, like trying to process something. That could be where you're kind of weeding things out, um, where it's like, okay, so I know what I'm not supposed to do. I know what I don't want. You know, um, I know where things went wrong, but where do things go right? You know, <laughs> like, what do I want here? And so a lot of you, I feel like it's a matter of like future planning. So it feels really exciting. I feel like you're weeding out problems here. Page of Wands. Fire energy. Some of you may have a brand new person come into your life on this day, okay? You do have that Page of Wands energy. It feels like a brand new person here. Um, I will say you have the Five of Cups showing up for that energy. I think this person could have gone through something recently. Something may be kind of heavy. Um... They do have a heavy energy about them here, but they're coming in light, flirtatious, but, you know, I feel like the more you talk to them, the more they reveal about something they've gone through recently. Um, you know, I feel like this person could be saying, like, a lot of people have hurt me, or um, I haven't dealt with many loyal people, blah, blah, blah. Like, they could be telling you a lot about, um, you know, you can just kind of feel it in their energy, and you can read between the lines here when it comes to where they're at on their journey. Like, they're not over something here. I feel like they could be telling you that, um, or they could have this idea. They may not be saying it out loud, but they could have this idea that all of them are the same. Whether it's like all men are the same, all women are the same, all men do, you know, there's a lot of that lately. Um, in the energy, it's very weird. Like, it's very heavy. Like, men and women, like, at one another, it's, it's wild. But we have the star showing up right here, Aquarius energy. I do think this person is working to heal. I think that they see you as a, as a hopeful turning point here. But, you know, there's a, there's a fine line between that and, you know, expecting you to heal them. Um, that's a lot to put on you to change their whole perspective on love like that's crazy but you know I will say I do think a lot of you are working on your own healing journey as well so maybe this is something you just turn away from entirely I feel like you have a big decision to make today um in regards to this because you may kind of feel a connection here but I really feel as if you're like gosh I've got so much to work on and I know this person has has a lot to work on I know there's a lot I don't know here so for a lot of you um I do feel that's and I know this is kind of specific so feel free to watch out for your other signs but yeah Virgo that's what I'm getting here for you some of you you could get some good news today that um brightens your mood after a heavy conversation um I feel like there's a lot of heaviness here. For, like, I feel like there's a lot being placed on you as well. I keep getting this energy of like a pressure um, on you. Like a lot of people coming to you with maybe problems. Um, you know, just, just kind of maybe not so much expecting you to fix it. Maybe not all of them. 
But I do think for, for uh, some of you, you could feel like it's your responsibility. Like you don't know what else to do other than offer some kind of help. And it's heavy. Um, but I do think there could be some news that comes in and, you know, kind of turns your energy around a little bit. Um, it's uplifting here. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope this was helpful or fun or whatever you needed it to be. Details are down below for anyone interested in personals, Instagram or Patreon. Don't forget that when it comes to that deal, it is a three-question video read, 25-25. You get it within two business days, but it does close on Friday, July. July 19th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I've had a lot of people all over the world tell me that I don't leave them open for long enough because they're on the other side of the world. And so, you know, I decided I'd leave it open for a little bit longer. I feel like this is plenty of time. So uh, Friday, July 19th, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Details are down there, of course, only if you're interested. But if this is where we part, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you. And hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.